Hey, so I'm in New York City. I've had a, a couple of talks this week. It's been really, really amazing. Um, but what's more amazing is I've managed to spend a lot of time with my good friend Howard Mann and his son Jackson, who's currently our director of photography. So all the amazing filming is because of him. But uh, Howard, we are collaborating on a book project together. You'll have heard me talking about his book before. Your Business Brickyard is definitely one of the books that influenced me the most in my career. We've done speaking tours together. Howard's got one of the most remarkable mailing lists. Uh, it's really, really uh, taking people by storm. And a few months ago, he wrote an article about the 36 month year. And it was one of those concepts that when I read it, I was like, oh, this makes so much sense. This is exactly, I, I have probably told this story now and forwarded that email to about 50 people. And because he's here right now, I wanted to give him a chance to tell you the story firsthand. So over to Mr. Mann. Most businesses operate in a 12 month year and they start every year off and they set a goal and a plan for the year and they make an incremental change. They try to hit some number that they set in January by December and they have a flurry of activity in December to try to get there. And then they make a small little jump. Sometimes they don't get there, sometimes they need to borrow from the next year. So I think that whole construct of a 12 month year is wrong. It's based on public companies who need quarterly reports and need to report to Wall Street. And yes, you have people who have uh, salary bonuses and things like that based on a 12 month year but it's really not necessary unless you have some big event at the end of the 12 month year. So what, what, what I talk about is a 30, what, if you, what would you do with your business if you had a 36 month year, if you had 36 months in a year to really do with your business what you wanted to do? What if you said in that first 12 months, you were gonna plant the seeds for what you really want your business to be? And in the second 12 months, what if you started to get some traction and to make some adjustments so that you're moving towards where you want to be. And in that third part of that, those third 12 months, you really started to get the exponential growth that you want and not the incremental growth that businesses typically get. If you're a business owner, you know that you wind up spending this entire year. And at the end of the year, you have this big crush in December. And in January, you have to reinvent your business again, but you're gonna to try to get, get it another 10 or 20% higher. And that, that feeling, it just starts to become Groundhog Day, that every year, just this little incremental growth, and will I ever make a big leap? And so if you start to take a step back, take the business that you have, and consider that is on autopilot. Find something in somebody in your business who can run that business for you, and keep it going at that 10, 15% clip. And then step back and think, okay, what business do I really want? What kind of thing would I invest in if I had 36 months for it to come to fruition as opposed to just 12? And then reverse engineer that result all the way back, giving you the patience and the time and the space to really invest in the business that you want to have and not just trying to just make it a little bit better each year. There you have it. Uh, one of the most amazing things to me though, when I send this to people and I tell them about it, the first thing they say is, no, but our business has to change. We can't wait that long. Uh, what I've realized though, is that you're waiting that long anyway. Doing it one year after the next year, after the next year, you're not moving forward. You're, you're confusing moving you know, forward and moving towards something. And the idea of the 36 month year, uh, for me, really just takes us to the next level. So that's the challenge. Give it a bash. Take that one project, that one thing, and make a difference with it. Peace. Hey, I'm Chris from Missing Link, and if you liked Richard's video, please hit like and subscribe. See you next time.